Hello and welcome again everybody. This is Paras and thanks for joining in. As part of series Paras Analytics as introduced in my previous video, this is the first video of the module Base SAS. This module is going to have 6 videos and would be available here in a separate playlist. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please do so as this will keep you updated. Okay. So introduction and base SAS interface. So this slide you have already seen below. So this is the first module that we are we are going to start from here. Before giving you an introduction to SAS, I want to show you the base SAS interface, how it looks like, the different windows, and how you work in that particular interface. Okay, so let's directly jump to it. Yeah, so this is the uh, base as interface I already got it opened beforehand for you guys. So here you can see various windows and uh, a simple layout at the top, file, edit, view, tools and different uh, uh, menu options. Then you have uh, different toolbars over here. Uh, then here you can see at the left hand side uh, there are two tabs, uh, results and the explorer tab. At the right hand side you can see uh, there is a log window, there is an editor window and there is a third window called outputs uh, window. So whichever you click that one gets highlighted. So if you click the log one it gets highlighted. This is the editor window. Editor window is a place where you write the code uh, or your SAS code. The log window you will get the log of that particular uh, program like if there is any issue if there is an error or if it ran successfully it will show all the details in the log then in the output section it will show the output of the program as the name suggests the results when tab at the left hand side shows the, the different results of the different execution of the programs in a tree in a tree based manner so i'll let you know how what it means so once we go through in the explorer window we, we have different icons the one icon which is of importance over here is the library icon which ha which shows a different library the different sas libraries okay so now let's write our simplest form of a code uh, which will involve a data step and a proc step data mean run Proc print run. Okay, so uh, the, what we what we'll be trying to do is in the data step we'll just try to create a data set SAS data set uh, whose name will be main and uh, we'll be assigning a variable and we'll assign a value to that particular variable. So there will be only one variable which is like x is equal to ten. And once we execute this particular data step, it will just uh, create a SAS dataset called main having one uh, observation uh, and one variable. And uh, if we try to print it in our output window, then we will have to write a, pro a procedure which is called proc print procedure and we will assign the name of that particular data set like data equal to main and then run. Okay, so, so just try to let's try to uh, execute this particular program. Just uh, we'll select the program and hit this so running man over here. Oh. So so see uh, at the left hand side you can see there is a something uh, tree like uh, tree structure got created, uh, and in the right hand side uh, uh, output uh, window has popped up and it's showing. Uh, a variable called x has been created and uh, its value is, uh, has been created as 10. If we re try to re-execute this particular program giving one more variable like 10 y equals to 20 and again execute the same program. So it shows there are two variables that has been created x and y and the values are 10 and 20 respectively. So if we go into the explorer uh, tab at the left hand side and go inside the library. Okay, Before that let me go in inside the log and help you try to uh, 
understand what is what is the log saying so it says give a one observation read from the data mean okay, let's maximize it there were two executions we will see the log of both the executions so the first execution was uh, data mean x is equal to 10 over here the log says the data set work dot mean has one observation and one variable so with the print procedure proc print data equal to main it says there were one observations read from the data set work dot mean okay then the second time execution uh, it said x equal to 10 and y equal to 20 then the data set work dot mean has one observation and two variables and similarly the print procedure it says one observation read from the particular data set work dot mean so this is uh, pretty much self explanatory only that uh, the term you can see work dot mean something called work has been mentioned over here so what this work is if we go inside the library which i at the left hand side and we see one of the library called work is there so let's see uh, what's there in the work so in the work we can see a data set has been created and its name is main let's try to open it so this is a form of data set that has been created in uh, in the library and it shows there are two variables x and y their values are 10 and 20 respectively so that was a simple program on sas environment and hope uh, this might have given you some sort of uh, high level understanding how basically uh, the sas environment the sas base interface works now let's get back to uh, our presentation the introduction to sas uh, SAS, which stands for Statistical Analysis System, is a software developed by SAS Institute for Data Management, Data Integration, Data Analytics, Business Intelligence, Creative Analytics, and much more. Uh, using SAS, uh, we can do a, a lot of things uh, like mining, altering, managing, and retrieving data from a variety of sources and perform statistical analysis on it. So, there are two terms over here in the sentence uh, which uh, needs to uh, understand. First is the variety of sources and the second is perform statistical analysis. Uh, by variety of sources, it means that SAS has the capability to connect with the different data so databases uh, like DB2, SQL Server, Oracle, Netiza and uh, once uh, it gets connected, it, it is able to fetch the data from these sources into SAS and, and can perform various analysis into the system. So, and, and that analysis can be any of the statistical analysis, uh, like uh, doing some kind of modeling, regression analysis, classification analysis, etc. So, SAS provides a graphical point and click user interface for non technical users and more advanced options through SAS language. In order to use uh, a statistical analysis system, data should be in a tabular format or a SAS format. Uh, SAS programs have a data step which you just saw in the SAS interface which retrieves uh, and manipulates data usually creating a SAS data set and PROC step which analyzes the data. So this data step, SAS data set, PROC step, I hope you are much more now familiar what it means over here. So that's why I took, uh, took you to base SAS interface to get a prior understanding before we go through this. So that was part one of this tutorial module. I hope this has given you a fair idea of where we are heading to. In the next tutorial, we would cover part two of this tutorial, creating and displaying SAS datasets, which you can see the next topic. Uh, hope, uh, hope to see you again in the next tutorial. Take care.